welcome to another episode of Asexualized, my Asexualized. This is a place to be for education about asexuality, all things asexual, and I share my asexualized journey in order to help you in yours. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that great big subscribe button. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that bell icon. If you are on Facebook, so Facebook as well, don't forget to press the like and follow buttons on my Facebook page. That's Asexualized page. And don't forget on Facebook to click the follow button specifically under my live video so you do not miss one. I think my hair is a bit static tonight. So um, yes, let's crack on with the show. So today is day 13 of A Sexual Perspectives Awareness Month. If you're in the UK, it's not. It's actually a bit later. It's gone on to day 14 now, but I'm working on USA time at the moment, it seems. So I was actually working on my Asexual Guide to Sex book for a while. So that's why I'm a little bit late, to say the least, if you're in the UK. But it's really good because I'm adding new chapters and it's actually very good because it's more geared towards relationships and what a healthy relationship looks like, not just about, obviously, the sexual side of things, which, you know, if you're going to have sex with someone, it's really important that you get someone who is going to give you a healthy relationship, who's going to develop a really serious, committed, healthy relationship. You don't want to be giving your body to someone who's not like that. Do you know what I mean? Unless you just want casual sex. And most asexuals wouldn't really be into trying that or doing it. But it's not to say that some won't. Anyway, today's topic is, do asexuals masturbate? You know, what do they think of masturbation? What's their view on it, basically? So, um, this is in my Asexual Perspectives book. I'm going to be talking about different people's views from this book. So if I haven't already got a copy, go on Amazon, Barnes & Noble or Waterstones and type in Asexual Perspectives and grab a copy of this. Right, just to let you know, you don't need the Kindle. You can just download the Kindle app if you don't have a Kindle and get the Kindle version. So um, this person here is Victoria. And this is their view on masturbation. I did masturbate at some point, but it always made me feel weird. And the orgasms didn't live up to expectations. There are a number of things I prefer doing. I feel completely fine, even though I don't masturbate. If my libido acts up, I just expel my energy differently, go for a run, etc. So yes, some people actually do not want to masturbate if they have a high libido because they feel weird, they feel wrong, they feel uh, and so they will use that, you know, energy if you like to put into other things to be more productive. They'll take their mind off what their genitalia is doing and they will go and do something else with their life. So it kind of like expels that energy, it goes out of the way and they can get back to their lives. So different people have different ways of coping with that type of thing. Right, so Hanale, um, they said, if anyone else wants to watch porn, masturbate, etc., then that's fine by me. I just don't want to be there. So that, again, is quite a common response, I think, for asexuals. Some asexuals are like, well, it's fine if other people want to masturbate, but I really don't want to be involved in it, so keep me out of it. Right, obviously, I'm writing the Asexual Guide to Sex book today, and I have to let you know that some people masturbate in front of each other, some people masturbate each other. Um, so if you are thinking about and getting into a relationship with a sexual person, particularly, then obviously masturbation would usually kind of come into that type of scenario. If Even if it wasn't with yourself, you kind of like a lot of sexuals would expect you to be doing that type of thing with them um, or having that done to you by them. But with asexuals, some asexuals like giving that type of thing. They like masturbating their partner but not receiving it and vice versa. So it's very interesting how everyone's different. And that's the beauty of Asexual Perspectives Awareness Month. We celebrate our diversity across the asexual spectrum and our differences within it, which is so important. So um, in terms of Sappho's story, from personal experience, masturbation doesn't interest or particularly stimulate me. But I still try it from time to time in the hope that something will be different and I'll finally see what all the fuss is about. So yes, for some asexuals, literally, they will keep trying it to think, you know, it doesn't do anything for me. You know, do I get the wonderful orgasmic feeling that everyone else seems to get from it? And then you get disappointed, like, no, it's just like, blah. I call it just squirting liquid. <laughs> it's just squirting some liquid. Why? You know, you could just get a hose pipe out, really, couldn't you? Um, but there we go. 
Geeks Vanderpoles story, um, page 195, their view on masturbation is it's a good way of relieving stress. And I've also known other asexuals to say this as well. Because don't forget, asexuality is a sexual orientation that's a lack of sexual attraction. It isn't a lack of action. Or it can be. You know, because the second part of the definition of asexuality is and or little to no interest in sexual activities. Some people might class masturbation as a sexual activity. But usually, in terms of asexuality, most people who are asexual don't want to do naturally want to do those sexual activities with another person they'd rather go solo if you know what I mean so I have heard quite a few asexuals say that it is they do do it to relieve stress which is very very interesting um so David's story masturbation I do find myself doing but it's a perfunctory task in other words it's basically just to kind of relieve arousal clear that clear the clear the airwaves or whatever you call it (laughs) You know, and that's basically it. So, Ro, uh, Kelly's story, sorry. Masturbation is just a thing. Lots of people, including aces, do it too. I don't. Like, porn isn't something I've tried. Found to, like, I don't. Like, porn, it's something I've tr- tried. Found to be boring and a waste of time and moved on. So, they view masturbation the same way as they view porn, which is basically a waste of time. Um, so again, that's very interesting. So Jen Mullen's story. Sometimes I masturbate because it helps me sleep, but it gets boring really quickly and I don't fantasize about anyone. Now, this is really interesting because like I don't have to have another person involved to feel arousal. I get arousal, high levels of arousal, even though I experience zero sexual attraction. So I don't have to have anyone involved. Like Jen, who can do stuff to herself, masturbate. If I want to do that, I don't have to think about anyone else involved. I can just think about me or just do that, you know. Um, I would usually think about myself because I don't want to think about anyone else, you know. But I can get high levels of arousal just thinking about kissing without kissing anyone or think about anyone they just think of the word kissing but yeah so i i don't you know for me personally there's apps i don't want to watch porn because i don't like porn but for me personally there's no need for it it's like i think a lot more people if they took the time could actually you know masturbate themselves without porn without any external stimulus because if you focus so much on your body and your own pleasure and the you know the the sensations that you do with yourself when you touch yourself you can still come it's just you know it's just people in society have, have kind of like shoved it down people's throats oh you need this this imagery this sexual stimulation to be able to do anything but actually you're very self-sufficient the body and the mind of the actual person themselves and you know the, the actual sensory touching of yourself you can do like stuff like that on your own you don't really need to know or have external influences and I think people should be taught that more I think the problem is in society masturbation is seen as something really taboo quite maybe disgusting to some people quite controversial especially women doing it it's kind of like it's a man thing which is totally untrue and that's the way it's portrayed yeah and so I think you know if people were to think it's more natural to do it then they would probably think more of natural means to do it rather than let's put a porn video on you know to me that's not very natural it's me you know it's just well me personally I wouldn't do that but I mean you know to me it's like you watch some actor or actresses or there are apparently channels where they use real couples in it but you know I mean it's like to me it's like why would I want to look at someone else doing that it's ridiculous I just Personally, I don't get it, but I know there are lots of asexuals that still watch porn. That's why it's very hard for me to get an asexual match as well, because I am not into that. And I want to find a guy who's also not into that, because it's really important to me. I kind of feel like it's cheating if you're in a relationship with someone. They shouldn't be looking at other people's bodies like that. That's my personal opinion. It's not shared by every asexual or many asexuals, but that's the way I feel. You know, so. Um, yeah, for me, that's kind of like a really big thing, the porn thing. But yeah, so I don't need any of that to to have anything going on down there. And so, yes, we come to now uh, 
Cassie's story. So Cassie um, says, I believe there is nothing wrong with masturbation. It is just you doing something you enjoy to your body without involving anyone else. And I can't see how there can be anything questionable about that. Um, so, yeah, I do think that is a really good point. You know, if it's involving your own body, you know, and you're enjoying yourself, you know, what's the problem? Why is it anyone else's business? Or why do other people even care? Because if you're touching your own body, you know, it's your own body. It's kind of like self-loving, isn't it? And stuff like that. So also, I would say if you are thinking about getting into a relationship in the future and you've not been in one before or you've not got much experience and you are thinking about being in a relationship with a sexual person in the future because maybe you're sex positive or sex neutral, then, you know, it's important to try things out in your own body. It's important to masturbate and find out what you like, what you don't like, what feels comfortable for you, what doesn't feel comfortable for you. So that when you get into a relationship with a sexual person, um, then you're more prepared as to what your boundaries are. You can say, well, I like this, but I don't like that. You can do this touching, but you can't do that touching. This is not what I'm comfortable with. This is what I'm comfortable with. And so really, I think masturbation should be encouraged more, not in the porn sense. I think, you know, people can get porn addiction and it can be very unhealthy, um, you know, to look at women's bodies in that way. Think guys own women's bodies and, you know, use people at, in general as sex objects i think that's not good but i think there's nothing wrong with people being able to say that it's all right to touch your own body yourself you don't need an external stimulus you can just touch your body yourself get used to your body because i think it helps prepare you then for a sexual relationship should you decide that yes i'm an asexual who does want to try that or willing to try it you know because i just think it's going to be so much better for you than getting into a relationship and then all over to sudden you know just thinking god i hate all this you know but having said that a lot of people get their experience from being in a relationship sometimes you don't know what you're gonna like or not like until you're in a relationship sometimes you may hate touching yourself but you might like someone else to do that for you when i was in a relationship in the past i didn't used to masturbate and my boyfriend at the time used to do that type of thing for me and I used to think that masturbation at that point when I used to live out was a gross concept that I'd never try it. And that, you know, and that my boyfriend at the time, I liked him doing that for me. And I'd rather him do that than me myself. And to a certain extent, I guess I've still got a little bit of like, I understand that still, you know, but I'm not really into being touched and stuff. Um, like I used to be whether I ever change in the future or not I don't know but you know um, I don't see it changing you know but there you go so um, Anne's story we're going to finish with Anne's story so page 400 of the book if you have the printed edition right so for Anne masturbation is a funny thing for me because while I do occasionally indulge prior to starting my relationship with my current boyfriend I was completely unable to fantasize about other people. Part of what cemented what was wrong in my last relationship was that I realized I had to shut my eyes and tune out the voice of the man touching me to get anywhere. So yes, um, it, when you've got the right partner, when you feel at ease with them, you feel you can be yourself around them, you know, you can just let yourself go sexually. And in terms of like, asexuals who want to try sex you know you should be able you know if you want to don't do it if you don't want to loads of asexuals don't want to there's plenty of sex repulsed asexuals i don't want it these days right don't get me wrong i'm not saying you should do it at all but i'm saying if you are going to do that you should find a partner for you that makes you feel relaxed and loved and cared for and cherished and who makes you feel really comfortable to be yourself physically around and sexually around, you know, like, especially if you're sexually inexperienced, you want someone who's going to, like, not make you feel self-conscious. You want someone who's going to, like, encourage you to, to discover what you like and what you don't like. Discover it on your own or discover it together. You want a person who wants to explore things with you and who will also respect your boundaries. And if if there's things you don't know that you like or not like, they'll, they'll say, well, just tell me to stop and I'll stop. This is the type of person you want. You don't want someone who's like, oh, you try something with and they make you feel pressurised in some way or awkward in some way or you feel you can't be yourself around them. 
because that's not love. And really, if you're going to have sex, in my opinion, it should be with someone you love, not with some random stranger. That's my personal opinion, you know, because I think, you know, especially like if you do have sex for the first time, you know, that's a big, huge deal. It affects you mentally and it affects you emotionally as well as physically. And so it's a big, big deal, right? And so you need to be really doing it with a person who you feel secure and safe and happy with and who you mean a lot to, you know, not someone who just wants to use you because they want to try it or they've not done it for a while or that you're one of the other people that they've done it with lots, you know? And so for me, it's really important that you get the relationship stuff sorted out um, before you get into a relationship, you know, like all the, do they love you? Do they care about you? Do they talk to you about other things? Are they committed to you before you're even having sex? Are they wanting to share your life and world? Are they wanting to bring you into their life and world? Are they wanting to ask you questions about yourself? Are they, wa are they wanting to care about you? Are they wanting to love you? Are they wanting to spend time with you? Are they wanting to be close to you? Are they wanting to get to know you as a person? Are they seeing a future together? You know, all these types of things. And obviously, like I said, masturbation can help with knowing what you like and don't like sexually. You know, it's a good starting point. So if you want to try masturbation, it's perfectly fine. Don't feel ashamed of it. I didn't even used to like it. I used to think it's gross and disgusting. But now I've kind of changed my mind. It doesn't really do that much for me. But um, for me, it's just like I said, squirting liquid. It's like, it's like people get orgasms or talk about this being orgasmic. Really? interesting yeah i don't know what an orgasm is for me personally because it's like whatever um but yes it's a very interesting topic isn't it and i just think people should be themselves so in order to answer the question do asexuals masturbate yes some asexuals do masturbate others don't masturbate whatsoever they don't like it they don't want anything to do with it some asexuals masturbate more than others but just because you masturbate doesn't mean to say you're not asexual because asexuality is a sexual orientation that's a lack of sexual attraction towards other people in reality. So in a nutshell, right? So anyway, the spectrum is huge. And as we know, there are grey asexuals, people that fall in the grey asexual category, which is those that can only feel experience, uh, well, feel and experience sexual attraction once a deep emotional connection has been formed, for example, like a demisexual or under le rare, limited or specific circumstances or not enough to want to act on it. But the whole point is those people do not fit under the normal sexual definition because they're, they still lack sexual attraction. They don't have the full sexual attraction that everyone else would have, basically. So anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you for now. Don't forget, if you're on YouTube, to like this video, to comment beneath. I'd love to hear your views on this. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Share this video with anyone you think may benefit from it. And um, I really, really look forward to seeing you on the next live stream. Take care. Lots of love. Bye. See you soon. And